Jamie, one all draw with Telford. All things considered, maybe not a bad result, but a bit disappointing to concede the goal the way you did. Exactly that, yeah. A point on the road is a good point. Um, anyone says that in any league. Um, they are, they've been a bit intermittent with their results. They've not scored as many goals as what they should do, but they've got a decent team. They moved the ball really well and kept it well. and They've probably dominated the vast majority of the game. Um, at half time, for us to come in 1 1 0 up would have been probably against the game for the play. Although we had, we had some decent moments, Newton scored a fantastic goal, and I think we're going to come in at 1 0 um, and have a little look at how we can how we can ride it out um, or even go and get a second. But as it is, we've switched off again from another throw in, we've conceded again from the throw in um, where they've got the ball in, into the box, probably a bit of a mistimed header or one thing or another, it's led to a goal two or three minutes after ours, which is unacceptable. But I found the first half we didn't win as, um, you know, battle, didn't get behind the ball enough, we didn't win enough you know, tackles, headers and all, all the stuff that I kind of get to take for granted. So, at half time we talked about that, um, and second half we came out, probably didn't have as much as the ball, they were on the front foot and on the ascendancy for most of the game, but, but what I saw from, from the vast majority of, of our team was a real hunger of spirit, they really dug in, uh, particularly our defence, um, I thought were outstanding today and limited them to, to little or no opportunities in the second half so all in all a positive a positive result not a great performance but I saw a lot of qualities from our team today that we're going to need throughout the season really difficult one with the with a fast turnaround obviously the injuries following Saturday's game another one Jason Gilchrist off in the first half is it is it frustrating for you more than anything that you've not been able to really utilise the squad to its full capacity this weekend? Yeah, we've got six players, six players missing today. Trying to change it around a little bit. Gilly scored a couple of goals in, um, since the start of the season. I think he started the season quite well. Um, so you know, I gave him the opportunity up top, and I thought he started the game quite well. Again, he, he's up against two big, strong centre halves who aren't going to win many aerial, um, miss any aerial. Oh. Jules against against many players, let alone Gilly, who's not renowned for, you know, he's not six foot three and he's not going to back in and, and do all that. But to be fair to him, he competed and he started the first ten minutes excellently. Got down the sides a couple of times and I thought he looked lively. So it's a shame for him. Uh, we had to put uh, Diego on then after I don't know what it was, 10, 10 or fifteen minutes, and we've only got a couple of subs to use on the bench. Made another decision to bring Greavesy on, um, and then we've got Linden to use, and I didn't want to use that final sub just in case we got another injury because it looked like. The way things have gone, and we've used that final sub, we get you know an, an injury in the last five minutes, and we're playing with ten men. So, um, but it's it's been tough with injuries. I think a, a lot of clubs are suffering from injuries at the moment, and the quick turnaround between Saturday and Monday is always tough. But again, the lads that we've got, the thirteen or fourteen fit lads that we've got, have put a shift in for the club. I think it was a really, really good, um, gritty performance. We weren't great with the ball, um, but without the ball, the club we were fantastic. Sort of a week off now to Saturday. Um, is it a good chance just to recuperate before that home game in the Tarmac Silverland Stadium on Saturday? Yes, um, we'll only be training on Thursday. The lads need a few days off now to try and get the bodies in, in shape. And, um, we'll get them in on Thursday and we'll look at the challenges ahead and we'll prepare properly. And again, I've made no secret that we need to look at trying to, try to get a couple of bodies in to support the players that we, we've already got here. Because we've got a good group. I, I had a question about half time um, and the vast majority came out second half. And, show that they want to be here, show that they want to work, show that they've got a desire um, and, it, and, it, and a kind of an intrinsic motivation rather than me saying stuff to them, a lot of them just do it themselves because the right things to do. Chase the players, hurry the players, run in channels, um, put their bodies on the line and, and um, a lot of our players do do that. And that's the kind, of, the kind of player that we want, we want at the club and that's the kind of player that's going to see us be successful. So look, it's been it's been a tough, tough few days to be honest since the, the blind and win a 1-0 with 6 or 7 minutes to go to get that turn around I think you know if we'd have won that and got a draw today it would have been a fantastic weekend as it is we just stand with one point out of one six, 6 which is it's not good enough um, the truth be told but today's point is um, I think it'll be invaluable for us Brilliant well, uh, thank you very much I'm still looking today but well done